But first, I want to review. I mean, we're listening to Boot Knife right now. And this is their movie. I did show my credit card info live yesterday. Boot Knife is a band friends of mine formed. It's only two people. We're not buying a hot tub. Lossy. We'll so, uh, this movie is available at linktree.com slash boot knife. This album, uh, boot knife, and it's just called, you know, the ballad of boot knife belt. Just same thing as the movie is available on all the streaming platforms. It was made by friends of mine. Acted in, filmed in Broome County where I live. So I, I'm a bit biased because it's made by friends of mine. Uh, the music is made, the whole soundtrack and everything. Here's the poster, which is pretty sweet. You can buy the DVD or buy it online at that Linktree website, right? You can find trailers on YouTube. I was going to pull them up, but uh, there's, there's nudity in the trailers. So I don't want to show you that. But it's full of muscle cars, motorcycles. It's got a Western vibe, if you, if you can't tell. Right? The Ballad of Boot Knife Bell. Knife in one hand. She's not a pistol. Oh, no, there is a revolver in her hand. It's got a wet. It's like a. I'd say it's like a modern Western. The Northeastern Western is what I would call it. That's that's kind of a joke, I guess. Uh, but not really, because it's filmed in uh, the Northeast. And what I would say is it's it's Quentin Tarantino influenced. I think if you watch it, you'll definitely see some Quentin Tarantino influence. There's not a ton of dialogue, so almost like Nick Reffin influenced in that way. It's very much a vibe, a feeling. And this music that you're listening to is the soundtrack to the whole movie. They made all the music uh, themselves. And the soundtrack by itself is awesome. It's worth listening to. Like, it's not just the soundtrack. It's an awesome album. They call it like outlaw uh outlaw rock or outlaw outlaw rock and roll country influenced rock and roll i don't know what genre it falls in but it's it's a revenge story kind of like a western like i said uh, it's, a, it's set in the near future and um things have gone a little crazy in the future as they always do and it's got a very big twist. And is it the, I don't know if it's the final act or the fourth out of the fifth act. It's got a very big twist. It, this whole movie was filmed uh, on an iPhone, believe it or not. And I think you'll be shocked by the cinematography. Maybe we'll get to watch it on stream sometime soon. I need, I would need to get permission for that. But we could have a movie night and watch this together. The Ballad of Boot Knife Bell. This has won multiple awards. Lots. Uh, best director, uh, best original music, best western, uh, best mobile movie. Lots. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, check it out. Maybe we'll watch it on stream sometime. But I, it's, again, this is the music. It's got awesome music. It's got just a feel all throughout it. A big twist. Uh, interesting story. The cinematography is great. There's some, definitely some memorable characters in there. It's only about half an hour long. It is a short film. You've seen the best Western before. <laughs> you don't see a lot of Westerns these days, so it's definitely uh, interesting. It's unique. It's not something you'd see every day. And you guys know I like to support a lot of indie projects on the game front. Um, and this is what I would call like an indie you know, film project. So I, I really like it. I've watched it like I think three times now. And uh, again, the soundtrack's awesome. But I act, I am not in this movie. Uh, if they make another one, I might get lucky and uh, get to get to be in it. But I don't know. Uh, I will also say the short film that I have planned, I would say it's a short film. It's more like a skit. It's not that long. Uh, that we may or may not be filming next weekend, a week from today, is influenced by this movie and by this album. And we'll even feature uh, a song from this album, if all goes as planned. May are going to be a mayor in the movie. <laughs> you never know. It could be. Um, 
So go check it out here. Let me show you something real quick. Uh, this is that you can find them everywhere. Like I said, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all this stuff. But if you go to Linktree, you know how to do Linktree, right? With the dot e e slash boot night if you can find their merch the film which is 10 bucks spotify apple music and youtube i will watch part of the trailer with you guys but i can't watch the full thing because there's nudity in it so let's uh let's let's pop it up real quick this is the second trailer i think i think the first time i watched this i showed the nudity on accident I love this song, by the way. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead a few seconds because I think I can skip the nudity. There we go. There we go. I did it. Now that's a fucking story. And the coming soon, I think it's out now, right? Stream our film. Bye. Yep. Stream, download anytime. Watch on iOS, Android, Apple TV, Roku, and Chromecast. I think there's uh, there's some special features on the DVD too, or if you buy it here, there's some hilarious. Uh, there's a making of feature. Uh, there's some hilarious commercials that they put this movie completely done on iPhone with a lot of accessories to. Uh, what do you call it? You know, make it. Um, very cinematic. Let me see if they... I know they put the first two minutes of the... Of the movie online somewhere. Did they put it on YouTube? Maybe we can watch the first two minutes. Let me see if I can find... Find the uh, first two minutes. Trailer 2. Maybe it's on the link tree. It's not on YouTube. You see if it's on their Instagram. And then, what, I mean, what the heck are we gonna play now, guys? Is this it? Here's just the trailer. That's not the movie. Here's some of the characters right here. The cowboy, the rider in black, Jaded Jade, Preacher Pat, Tracker Tom, Boot Knife Bell, of course. Well, the first two minutes is online somewhere. What is this? Is this the trailer? Oh no, here we go. Oops. I'm blocking part of it, but folks, let me tell you about how things are nowadays in the small town called Preacherville. In the twenty twenties we saw the government fall and technology stall. The how and the why of all that aren't important anymore. Nowadays, it's not uncommon to see a man on horseback pass by a motorcycle. Unsane. Pass by a muscle car. Then pass by a Tesla. Law and order is gone. So that horse hasn't had its shot. And those vehicle registrations you can see are long expired. People still use mobile phones on insecure public networks. And there's electricity in those parts. There's no regulations. No rules. Most people find themselves forced into trading hard labor. I swear that guy looks like Ned Stark. Sean Bean. He's not actually in the movie. I didn't notice you could actually see that guy moving. He's got Jade squeezing folks for information. Tom modern all electronic communication in town. He's trying to find a whereabout. That guy looks like Slugworth from Willy Wonka. However, her professional life? Now that's a fucking story. She always did the right thing, that Bell. Sometimes, 
That meant bringing hell with her. So that's the opening of the movie. I have heard of Tool. And that's Belle right there. That's the... That's it's her story. Got quite the arsenal in there. I I was lucky enough to go to the premiere as well, uh, which was awesome. Good good time. Again, linktree.com slash bootknife to get the movie. Uh, you can find their information on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can find the album on Spotify, Apple Music. You can buy their merch. Look them up. Boot Knife and the Ballad of Boot Knife Bell. Seriously, good stuff.